Come to who wants to be a mathematician? Uh, these are the 10 contestants. We'll introduce them in f just a few seconds. We just want to make them stand like that and be nervous for a long time before they actually play the game. Uh, and uh, so this lets you know you're in the right place. It is Who Wants to Be a Mathematician. It's sponsored by the American Mathematical Society. Uh, that's the website uh, for the uh, game, the contest. And this is the trophy that they'll be playing for in addition to some things connected with the trophy. And the sponsors in the game are Texas Instruments, uh, MapleSoft, John Wiley and Sons, and the American Mathematical Society. The prizes that the contestants will be playing for, uh, fifth place in each semifinal, so we have 10 contestants where they're divided up in two groups of equal size, so you know that that's five. Uh, and, uh, and then the winner of each of those semifinals will play against one another in the finals. And so the fifth place in each semifinal will win Five Minute Mathematics, a book published by the AMS, along with $500. And fourth place in each game will win a series of books uh, published by the American Mathematical Society, What's Happening in the Mathematical Sciences, and $500. By the way, the money is also published by the American Mathematical Society. It has picked like <laughs> Newtons on the $500 bill, and then it, it works r around from there. Uh, then uh, third place in each uh, Semi-final will win a calculus book from John Wiley and Son, Anton uh, Bivens and Davis, uh, and uh, it's uh, Calculus of the Early Transcendental, so they win that and $1,000. And then one of the authors is in the back row there. He's trying to look be inconspicuous, but we weren't going to let him. Here he's always waving. Yes, that's Stephen Davis. There you go. And then one of the What's Happening authors might actually be. So What's Happening is written by uh, the first few uh, books were written, uh, volumes were written by uh, Barry Sipper, and then the most recent ones have been written by Dana McKenzie, who just won the um, the JPBM Communications Award. And so that means he speaks very good JPBM, which is a language a lot of you might not know. Uh, so, and so second place in each game will win $1,000 and software by the Waterloo, uh, by MapleSoft Company, sorry, uh, and they're in Waterloo, Ontario, it's Maple 15. And then first place in each game will win uh, Texas Instruments, the TI Inspire CX, along with $2,000, and then that person will, will go to the finals in, in, uh, from each semifinal to win that. And then in each case, the money that's won by the individual student, uh, we give the matching, or uh, matching amount is given to the math department of that student's school. And, and to the uh, student's favorite math game show moderator as well. <laughs> All right, so now I think we can now introduce, oh, I, oh, I, this, this is, I almost forgot. Uh, so you notice that you may, if you might say, what do all these students have in common besides the fact that they decided to wear the same t-shirts today? Uh, they also, they all happen to be male, so we just want to point out that it's not necessarily the case that only men do mathematics. Uh, and so here's, here's some recent winners, former winners, of, they just don't happen to be here, uh, former winners of Who Wants to Be a Mathematician, holding up their big checks and their uh, Texas Instruments calculators. That's how you know if they're Who Wants to Be a Mathematician winners, because they get both those things. And then they're standing at the ATM trying to get the, uh, actually the TI might fit better in the ATM than the big check. Uh, and then uh, we also have a women doing mathematics poster, uh, and which shows uh, some PhD uh, mathematicians, female mathematicians, and the kind of mathematics they do and why they like mathematics. And one of them is a judge today. Uh, that's Ebay Rubio, who's up at the top, is smiling, and then she's down here waving. All right, so it's, what a coincidence. All right, and then so. If you looked at the poster, you would think, well, she, all these people are two-dimensional. But now you can see that they, they do move and they are three-dimensional as well. And then if you would like to order that poster, or, and you can see it online and, and print off a copy, or if you like the full-blown version, you can, yeah, there's an address there that you can write uh, at that web address uh, to get a copy of it. We'd love to give them out. They're free. And so now we will see uh, who the contestants are. And, and we have them in order of region. And so whenever we say your name, you can step forward and then, and then greet the tumultuous applause that the company is announcing your name. So here we have Pablo Luis Hernandez, who is from Miami Springs High School in Florida. Uh, Stephen LaMontagne from close by Barrington High School in Rhode Island. That's good. And it, it's almost like a CSI lineup that we're doing here. Uh, Alex McDonough from Winchester High School in Massachusetts. Uh, so there's a lot of shooting section. Uh, Sean Ryan from Blue Valley West High School in Kansas. There's Sean. Uh, Raj Raina from Novi High School in Michigan. There's Raj. Uh, Alan Sadoon from Liberal Arts and Science Academy High School in Texas. There's Alan. Eric Schneider from High Technology High School in New Jersey. There's Eric right there at the end. Uh, Ratchet Singh from Pullman High School in Washington. We decided he had to come to Fargo, so he's it. Richard Spence from the Snoring Science Academy in Arizona. Almost right in the middle here, there's Richard. 
and Alan Yang from the Cary Academy in North Carolina. So those are the 10 contestants. Now five of you can go rest, and the five from the quote West can stay up on stage and, and go, get behind the podium. How about a hand for all 10 contestants? Anyone else may not have a question?